It is now the evening. Three days remain. Let's see. One, one, one. I think. Eh, I can fix it later. I think I always cut her off when she says that. The thought of that my dream might be some trickle of my former self returning it occupies my mind as I enter the nurse's office. When Rennie noticed me, she grins happily and greets me, as if she had been looking forward to it. Her words are still guarded, but much softer. <laughs> ah, you kept her promise. Although her face is still very expressionless, I'd say it was mostly due to shyness. When I mimic her silence, Rennie launches into a rather carefully considered monologue. Yesterday, you said you had no emotion death. You had no emotional death, Luna. Yeah, I want you to know the death of my character, the strength of my desires. Sinji, Dan, and Alice must have a sense of purpose, and I want one too. I think it's not related that my professor believed I could endow someone with a soul. The thought came to me yesterday, as I pondered why talking to you and talking to my professor it feels very much if I'm talking to the same person. I've noted an increase in body temperature when I converse with you. What? Even though I'm in the process of the healing, this phenomenon is unrelated. I feel at ease. This is the first time this sort of thing has ever happened. You got an incurable disease, but I think that's your heart. Heart? As in, an emotional center? We're both silent. However, looking at Rani's happy expression, I think she's pleased to be accused of having a heart. She closes her eyes and repeats the word fervently as if it were a mantra. Uh. Professor, so this is what you meant. The spring water that fills the vessel... The heart that fills me. It's so warm. After saying that, Rani raises her head for, to me a second time. You're very welcome. Now, I'd like to do something for you. Is there anything I can do? She looks at me solemnly. I mean to decline, but it seems like she wants to really do something. I had a weird dream, or actually, it wasn't a dream. I'm not sure how to describe it. Dream of your electronic brain, or a dream about someone else? Dreams are visual inter in interpretations of the ordering of the brain's retrieval of random information. But Luna, you're not supposed to have any access to your memories. In that case, this dream may be a trauma burned into your soul instead of a proper dream. Ow! Must have had a sucky life then. Furthermore, the contents of the dream are quite curious on the abstract level. The world of cognize above the level of consciousness. Harpies take wing, but no, gain no purchase. Yeah, that dream didn't drop any clues to who I am. Nothing about who I am or why I entered the Holy Grail War. Rani, Rin, Dan, Leo, and I fear even Gatu came here with a firm goal. They have a wish that they deeply desire for the Holy Grail to grant. Or like them, I'm just... <laughs> Rennie attempts to talk me out of my downward spiral. I don't know what quite to say at a time like this. Just, the urge to say something is welling up inside me. If only that you'd stop making such a forlorn face. You helped me for my own sake, not yours. That's why I wish to help you in return. I would like to help you find out about your opponent. What did she say? 
No, wait. Even th things being it they are, it's too dangerous. Eh. Don't worry. To one who knows the circulation of the stars, no power is to be feared. Wait, but... Rennie stares straight into my eyes, with her bright, sincere ones. Do what you want. I give up. Can't argue against that kind of conviction. Her expression relaxes a bit. Alright, then. Please tell me everything you know so far. Um, they're from Phantasmal Moon. Uh, they apparently have a reduced ability because of the ma master's incompetence. And that's about it. Starting with the servant, I saw her in the arena, but... And also, I, I know the information her master has leaked out about her, which I just said, by the way. Her clothing was plain, her skin was pale, and she possesses a demonic eye. A woman who uses a demonic eye? I see. I shall investigate. I don't want Rani to put herself into further danger, but I'm very grateful for her gesture. I warn her to be careful, then I leave the nurse's office. Let me guess. Um... What's his name's looking for me? The second cypher key has been generated on the second floor. As I walk down the hall, my terminal reports the generation of a trigger. Ah, yes. This just introduces the hunting thing again. Good luck, young master. I'm just considering replacing the music for the entire... Yeah, just need to take care of this. Shark's fin, blah blah blah. Actually, I want to see how well this battle, I mean, this duel turns out. But if they catch me, then I'm kind of screwed. Okay, I'm ready to go. Wait. Don't enter right now. Actually, replace this with a Sears crystal ball. Actually, I should just... Second floor. Hunting. Part two. Oh, she talked. I did not expect that at all. Enhancement spike. Let's go. Let's take on this bird first. Let's see how much information I actually have on these things. Ah. Uh, not that much. But I should have enough information from the man eaters to, I mean the carnivores to stand a chance. Battle 
one. Fight. Actually, it's more like battle 18. Battle 10. Fight. All right, let's see. What? Give me a moment. Ow. Critical. Crud. So I don't have that much information just yet. One point, our team! Now this is a better outturn for this. Come on. All right. Perfect. One point enemy team. Wow, our opponent's already defeated a program. It would be nice if you were that aggressive too. Degenerate. Actually, I'm more afraid of our current opponent. Let's see. Our attack. Oh, jeez. You have to be so confusing for your next move. Oop. The problem is I don't know what I don't know what's gonna do, so Okay, so I was right. One point, our team! Hey, we already have an enhancer. One point, enemy team! Okay, that is just scary. Our enemies are approaching. Eleven, fight! Attack guard, guard. Break. Attack, attack. Extra jerk. What? One point, our team! Oh, 
Oops. They're not even near bot. Oh, now they are. Battle 12! Fight! Ah, uh, what is this? This? I'm gonna regret that, aren't I? Extra turn! Yep. Nice. One point, our team. Yeah, these guys are still going to chase us, but we're going to stun them to get around them. Gotcha. Final battle, fight. Break, attack. Oh man. That could be anything. Well, since it's our last battle for now. Overkill. <laughs> One point, our team. <laughs> I like how she complains after the battle's over. Or after the whole two days remain. First floor, gotta go talk to that guy outside. Now I forgot something <laughs> I'm not gonna go back for. Oh well, I think I can live without it. I'm secretly happy that Rin's spirits have been brightened. As we've talked from over the, the past few days, I thought I was the one who saved her, but I think she's the one who saved me. <laughs> Something's the matter. I must have been lost, lost in thought for a while because Rani looks worried about me. That reminds me, Rani said she helped research Gatu. I hope she was careful She would, as she's not healed yet. I am fine. Unfortunately, I lack sufficient information to further the investigation. There are far too many references to a demonic eye within the Atlas archives to narrow it down. Sadly, my own investigation of my opponent has not yet progressed. While Rani and I are exchanging troubled glances, I hear a noise from behind me. I apologize. I must intrude. Oh, I did not wish to believe it, but I couldn't. What? A mutinous trust is being held. My God, should now allow it. Young lady, follow me. Follow the path of abstinence and righteousness. Repeat after me. I don't know what he's blathering on about, but yeah, I wouldn't caught, be caught dead chanting that. <gasps> Villain. Your tainted eyes are not unlike those of the murderous blood... What? Hey? You again with your confusing text? I nay, my... My god shall end the most... You most gloriously. If your will to fight is lacking, then you shall die here. After shouting angrily, Gatu mumbles about something akin to, uh, to a Buddhist prayer. Prayer. He's gonna fight here? He acts like he's not concerned about the penalty, or rather, he's not thinking about it at all. <gasps> Stop it! This is the middle of the room. If you, go f if you want to fight, then we can go all out in the arena. <laughs> As you wish, young lady. My god, we'll smite you. I'll go to the arena, like Caster said. If I don't leave, Renning will be in danger. 
Ah. Oh. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna aim for every program this time. Well, not every program, because I think we'll just get caught. Hunting part four. Right, I didn't equip the map. Oh well. Master, our opponent is nearby. Let's go find them and mess them up. We'll have to do it fast because we still have some hunting left to do. Slow to slow. I'm faster than you! And the programs will leave me alone. Battle 15! Fight! Oh no. Extra turn! One point, our team! I think there's one down this way. Somewhere around here. And then we'll have to run back the other way. One point, enemy team! Battle 16, fight! First turn is guard. Oh, this is where it gets confusing. Actually, no. Thank you, ending of the uh, information. Extra turn! I'm risking a lot here. Oh, isn't there another path I could take? Darn it. One point, our team! Let's run into them, quickly! <laughs> Drilling imbeciles. There you are, little lamb! You have praise for not fleeing before the glory of my god! What laudable courage! Perhaps I shall add a verse about Luna and Xion to my Bible. My name's not even in blue. The Trials of Manji, Chapter 4, Verse 5. And so, the lamb was eaten by the lion! Alright then. Why don't we have a div my divine lord pass judgment on your payte? Now, I implore you, master my soul. All this little lamb with your supreme ruthlessness and mercy! <laughs> Glory to be your infinite light for all of time. <sighs> okay, I don't know how I managed to make sense of this annoying diatribe, but somehow I do. Divine lord. Is his wish to spread a religion where his servant is a god? How ridiculous of you to compare my, your concept of your servant to my god! My god is a true ancestor! My god is a, the true mother! Matrix up! Alright! Oh, that's the arena. Do. Oh, what the hell is this? To live with this truth as I do is a merciful gift I wish to bestow on every person. The Holy Grail is already part of my divine lord. What's a true ancestor? Is that some sort of minor cre creation myth? Wait, her myth has its do something to do with the moon cell? She could treat the seraph like a reality marble. Luckily, she's already transformed into a berserker and can't use it or anything. We still have a chance. My divine lord, 
crush these morons with your star, star heavy might. And battle! <laughs> Versus Berserker! Oh, this doesn't work. <laughs> okay, anyway. Okay. chart for her, um, patterns is kind of messed up. You, you gotta give me some time to try and figure out what's heads or tails here. Where is... She's not like the other Berserker where there's an actual another weight turn somewhere in there. Okay, so that was a break. That was a guard. That was a weight. Okay, her, yeah, her charts are extremely confusing. I'm surprised I survived this far. Rail Zeppelin? Ow. Ow. That hurt. It cannot be! How could my god be defeated? Have I not trained enough? Oh my god! My meditator of nature! Uh, my creator of universal order of Vyrtsara! I absolutely dara! I just so strength up on me once again! Bowling and fervent player, Gatu disappears from the arena! I wonder what a true ancestor is. Let's see, they're like wraiths or of the earth, or you could say they're all the will of the stars. If someone called a true ancestor, a vampire, that they wouldn't be wrong, but they're really more spirits. In any case, there's something a, bar a, bar a, bar a barbarian can never handle. That must be why she turned into a berserker. If she were in her right mind, she'd be f I'd be fox meat, but this way I stand a chance. Well, of the stars? 
I can't wrap my head around that one, but does that mean she is really a god? Or a vampire? Seeing the relief on Caster's face, I didn't realize how powerful our enemy could have been. It gives me the chills. Somehow we won. On with the hunt! 